hi everyone and welcome to today's figma video today i'll be showing you something unique and very special in figma something i discovered and learned recently we're gonna create this cool accordion menu in a few simple and easy steps so this is how accordion menu is gonna work you can click on that arrow then to actually just drop in and then to just slide in so you can click on any arrow and to actually just drop in and then just open up as you can see so you can create that accordion menu you can close it from any direction from any side as you choose you can leave any side open it actually really doesn't matter so we're gonna do this in a few simple and easy steps we're gonna learn how to do this using auto layout and then the using components and variants at the same time and uh, so just sit down relax and let's learn something new Alright, so before we start today's video, there's something I want to point out, something very, very important. So uh, in, in a few videos in the past, I've been trying to create this accordion menu, but I've been having some issues. I think it's some issues some of you may have encountered. Every time I click uh, and design, I find sometimes there is an overlap of text. And this is something that does not look neat. It's something I want to avoid when I do my designing. So as you can see, when I open this second sec section two, there's an overlap. You actually see the text, you actually see the, the accordion menu opening up behind section three, and that's something we want to avoid. So that's something we're going to learn. We're gonna learn how to create a neat accordion menu today in a few simple and easy steps. So just, my, just be careful about that. That's something we're gonna eliminate and we're gonna work on that. All right, so we're gonna create a new project just click on plus new design file all right so we're gonna na name our project our call dion menu all right so i want to emphasize something i want you to make sure you follow each and every single step make sure you do not miss out on anything because missing out on any step will actually some things may not work out so make sure to do exactly what i want to do and don't skip any step all right, so we're going to first type in some text. I'm going to type in some text. I'm going to type the text category, category one. Okay. Um, so we can increase the size of this text a little bit. Let's increase this to size. Um, let's try size 18. All right, so I'm going to change it to my favorite text font. I love using poppins. We're going to use poppins bold. All right, so we're gonna change our text color. Let's change it to white. Don't worry about that. So we're gonna right click, then we're gonna add in some arrows. There is a plugin I love using so much, font or some icons. So we're gonna make use of some arrows right here. So this greater than sign, let's just click on that. All right, so we have that. So you can zoom in. So just make sure to click on the greater than sign. Then I want you to drag out. Okay, so that pulls it out from this title. We're only interested in the symbol. Okay, so we're gonna drag this and we're gonna place it right next to our text. So we're gonna change the color of this to white also. All right, and then there we have it. So next we're gonna highlight both. Then we're gonna, we're gonna create an auto layout. So there are two options of creating auto layout. You can go right here on the right hand side. Then you can click on this plus icon or you can actually simply right click and then just say add auto layout. And then there's also uh, a shortcut shift A. So you can do anything you want, but I just love doing this. This will be simple for demonstration. Just click on this plus icon. And as you can see, this, the, uh, this has changed and then we've created an auto layout. Okay, so I'm gonna call our auto layout. Hey, Ding one. Actually, let's just call it heading because it's actually the only heading. So make sure your auto layout is selected. Then we're gonna align this. We're gonna do some alignments. Just go to this alignment. So I may just want to align to center. All right, that's fine now. So we're gonna add some fill color to our auto layout just by clicking on the plus, and uh, we're gonna give this a purple color. Okay, we're gonna make use of that purple. All right, so there you go. So next we're gonna we're gonna do some padding. 
on our auto layout so this is direct so just make sure to select your auto layout and then we can just drag around the edges and then that actually does padding okay some cool neat padding okay that 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 will do then what are what's up what i'm going to do is i'm going to add the spacing between this and this so i'm going to increase the spacing to let's try a hundred okay a hundred is still not too big let's try 120 all right there you go that will do all right so next we're gonna we're gonna add type in some more text so just make sure to click on your text icon so we're gonna work on the content on the content section so just uh drag so we're gonna drag like that all right so i'm gonna add some text i want this to be font 12 so i'm gonna make use of a plugin i've installed it's called lorem ipsum so this is gonna generate text for us so i'm gonna auto generate to make sure to just fill in those boxes all right so there you go we've auto generated some text so just gonna make sure our text is set to white okay so this is gonna be our content within so we're gonna write we're gonna we're also gonna create an auto layout out of this so just right click and then just say add auto layout okay then so we're gonna call this auto layout we're gonna call it content there you go then we're also gonna add a fill we're gonna add a dark color something not too dark but right around there then we're gonna change our text to regular yeah that will look more neat so we're gonna so we're gonna reduce the size of this let's just make sure it fits so what what's happening is our text is actually not not appearing clearly so we're just gonna reduce the size of the text class so just reduce the font size to 10. Sure that would do okay so we're just gonna fit our content box just make sure it fits in well all right so it looks much better so um Okay, so just make sure your text is aligned to center. So just select on that. Then we're gonna align our, our text. Let's just align that to center. All right, that will work. So just make sure to drag this. Let's just position it right below. Okay, so that's how our content will look. So we have two auto layouts designed. So what happens next is we're gonna combine these into one. So make sure you select both the content auto layout and the heading auto layout. Then we're gonna right click and then we're also going to click say auto layout so add auto layout a combination of both so a combination of both we're going to call it the accordion all right so there you go so with our accordion selected so just right click and then we're going to create a component out of that all right so we've created a component so we're gonna go to our component and then we're gonna add a variant so just so right here on the right hand side you can click add variant all right all right so we've added variant all right so what we're gonna do is we have the default and we have variant too so what what we're going to do is with our component selected so just gonna go right here so where you have the variants here so we're gonna change the titling of this text so we're gonna call this uh, so we're gonna call our variant open that's just the name i choose to call it and then for the first option so this is our default this is gonna be set to false because uh it is not open by default all right so we're gonna change variant two to true because variant two is open okay so, so next we're going to just go to where you have so we're just gonna go to our our default right here where we said it's false then we're gonna hide the content so where you have the content section we're gonna hide that so just click on the eye so i've hidden that and uh yeah that looks much better so next just for neatness we're gonna uh just 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 for neatness you can right click all right so so be, be, before before we do that oh, we, we're gonna 
do some uh, prototyping okay so we can so we have the open true and we have the open false so just go to prototype so we're going to select this so when someone clicks on this we're going to say on click change to just make sure this is set to open okay change to then we're going to use smart animate so it will change to the cut the other category by default then we're going to make sure this happens quickly so we're going to let it happen in 100 milliseconds that would do sorry let's just set that to 100 so I want that to happen really faster okay so we're gonna do the same thing so just go to the other the other variant so we're gonna add an interaction too so just we're gonna click on change to so we can close this let's just make sure I set that to auto animate then we're also going to change the timing to 100 milliseconds all right and there you go so next we're gonna select to so search for just neatness we're gonna select our entire accordion and then we're gonna we're gonna add an auto layout again just for neatness so i'm going to do something to just make it neat so this will allow me to like order the contents uh in a better way so we're gonna change the spacing it's just for neatness we're gonna change the spacing to 20 so that's just so that our entire component looks neat okay and uh there you go so uh in our second in our, in our second variant here yeah? so within the the heading we just want to make sure that this arrow actually faces down so when someone clicks on this and then it changes to the to the variant we want this arrow to face down right so we're gonna change that to degrees to 70 okay and all right so it has actually turned in the other direction when you typed in 270 that's also the same as negative 90 so that would do all right so we are almost there so next we're gonna do something very very important we're gonna create another big frame so we're gonna create a major frame the frame where we're gonna be doing most of the work most of the animations so we're gonna create this major frame and then in this new frame we're gonna add an auto layout so with your new frame selected so just click on add auto layout so this we're gonna call the main frame okay all right so next we're gonna select our our, our open force here we're gonna select our default we're gonna just make a copy of it by holding alt so just make sure to make a copy of that then we're gonna insert it into this frame okay and uh, just make sure to enlarge this frame a little bit more so we're gonna do some auto layout within this frame so just make sure that main your main frame is selected and then make sure it's set to vertical and then we're gonna change the alignment let's change to align center from the top okay so next we're gonna duplicate this so just click ctrl d it's how I prefer to do it, Ctrl D. I would actually do that four times. You can do it however many times you actually want. So we want to just make sure that uh, our content is actually spaced, uh, but not too much. So we're going to reduce the spacing to, um, let's try reducing the spacing to one. So that actually looks better. But uh, let's try 0 0.5. Okay. So as you can see, our content is spaced. All right so next we're gonna just change the naming so we're gonna change the naming of the headings so i'm gonna change this to um category two so we're gonna also change the heading title of this to category three and then we're gonna do the same thing for the fourth one change that to uh, category four all right so just make sure you followed each and every step that i've done just make sure you've done exactly what i've done and then with that done we can click the play we can run it so just give it a second to load all right and there you go we've loaded our animation so let's try to let's try to click
as you can see our accordion is actually working let's try to change this to um let's change that fitting so that i can actually click on all as you can see all the different categories are working and uh, it doesn't matter you can have all open at the same time you can close any it will still work anyhow and that's how you create an accordion menu using auto layout and then components and variants in figma in a few simple and easy steps i hope you learned something through this video if you learned something feel free to tell me in the comments i'll, I'll be glad to reply and then uh, if you're new to this channel i encourage you to subscribe and join in the community and then don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you get updates every time I upload a new video. I hope you learned something about something new about AutoAnimate in today's video and then your knowledge of components and variants actually went to the next level. Actually, so um, thank you so much for watching today's video. I'll see you all in my next video. Have a nice day.